to this point again of, of really, you know, the journey. As, as women, as people, not even as women, as people, we all, again, invest in other people based on how we feel about ourselves, mm -hmm. right? When you're feeling strong, when you're feeling empowered, you can put up with telling everybody where to go and you can you know, make very strong decisions. And there are other times when you feel vulnerable. And those are the times when things happen or you allow things to happen to yourself. And I think that's the key thing. It's about what you allow to happen to yourself. And when do you start to reclaim your power as an individual? And what does it take for that to happen? And everyone's story is different. Everyone's journey is going to be different. And I think for me, it was just about sharing the story of one particular woman's journey and how she moved from really putting her, her fate or her self-worth in the hands of someone else to understanding that she didn't need to do that. And until she was clear about who she was and what she wanted for herself, she was never going to be happy. And I think that's something as people, not just as women, you know, we all have to do. We have to get out of our, out of our own way sometimes and understand that sometimes we are the obstacle. Mm -hmm. And it's not until we're able to be honest enough with ourselves to understand that we are the obstacle, that we can start to move that obstacle out and, and really go for what we want. So I hope sharing her journey, it helps some people to also reflect on their own 